I'm seeing if she's alive. Sam? Are you alive? Are you there? Are you there? I'm here. I think she's dead. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Possess Anthology. Uh, well, it's a collection update of some VHS, um, DVD, and Blu ray, of course. Um, so let's first start off with um, VHS, I would say. And if you could see over here. I bought the complete edition of Faulty Towers on VHS for like 2 euros in that first store, which made me very happy. Um, so the next few I also got at a uh, thrift store, uh, seven, 7 VHSs, uh, Julius Caesar, um, they are not all in good condition so that's really cool, uh, Spartacus. Ben Hur, the original of course. Um, another John Cleese release in uh, How to Irritate People. Um, a classic, Home Alone. Disney Fantasia. And Grease. So, uh, some classics on um, DVD, that, uh, on uh, VHS that I really needed to have. So um, let's first dive into the um, Blu-rays. Uh, this one is The Day the Earth Stood Still, uh, but this is the original um, original release, which is quite cool. So um, might give this a shot uh, later tonight. Uh, then I got uh, layered layer cake. Um, has uh, some good good uh, casting like Michael Gambon and uh, Daniel Craig so that's pretty awesome so I really want to look into that <laughs> then I found this one as well this is narrated by Michael Douglas this is uh, Dinosaurs Alive I absolutely don't know what it is I think it's some kind of um, walking with dinosaurs things so um, then the next few I found uh, in my store uh, well, these two, a, a colleague of mine who was visiting another store of CEX in the Netherlands, he got these two for me and I paid him back, of course. Uh, Robbie Williams, one night at the E, uh, Palladium, Palladium, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, but this is um, like one of his uh, big band -y, uh, thing, which I uh, really, really like. Uh, so, got that one and a Dutch... Um, Hard rock metal band uh, within Temptation with a with a full orchestra. I want to say so that's pretty awesome. Then to anime, uh, my manager brought in the store. Stormrider Clash of War Evil Evil Clash of Evil. Sorry, um, not that big into anime, but hey, might give it a go. Uh, especially this one, Dante's Infernal. I. I uh, played the game, uh, but never seen the anime. So, and the last one I found in a thrift store. This is Oblivion Steelcase, which is, in my opinion, a very beautiful one. Really, really cool. Got that for dirt cheap as well. So, uh, that was the Blu-ray. Now we go to um, the DVD. But first. Um, a UMD from the movie Hostel. Found this for uh, one euro. So couldn't beat that, I think. So uh, the first one is a movie. Um, a not a movie, I think. It's it's like uh, one of those. Um, uh, um, how do you say? It? Um, totally lost my mind. Um, music videos from Audio Slave. Um, of course, not around anymore, but this one was one euro and really cool that I got it. Uh, then the next one is a Dutch classic, Still in the Shrink Wrap, uh, Abeltje, which was a, a fairly known uh, Dutch, um, um, how do you say, rascal that. Um, 
cause trouble all around the Netherlands. Um, and this was pretty cool, uh, as far as I can remember. Then I found a Dutch series as well. Uh, this is the complete series of Flodder. Um, yeah, I guess everybody knows Flodder except me. So um, somebody pointed out to me that this one was pretty funny back in the day. So I got that for only three ninety five. I want to say the complete collection, so that's nothing. Then I found this beautiful big box set of uh, Casino Royale 007. And it's a slipcase and it's actually hardcover. And it folds out like that. Looks really cool and on the inside you can over here or uh, Sorry, over here in the middle, you got some uh, art, art books or something. I want to say. Let's pop it out for a second. And it's all in perfect condition, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's unopened. This book has been unopened, so um, a book leaflets. And it's all in glossy, glossy sh um, uh, wrapping, how you say, uh, glossy finish or something. And um, it's actually one of my favorite uh, Bond movies. I'm not a huge Bond fan, but nonetheless, it's really cool. Uh, Casino Royale 007. And I believe this year the, the newest one is coming out, I want to say. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then I found a double set of Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal. Originally, I'm not a huge fan of um, double sets, um, but for the price of one euro, and it's in a really beautiful um, set, I couldn't pass it up, and glad I got it. So that's pretty cool. And over here we have two seasons um, of a, I believe, Cabo series called Deadwood. And a complete series. Uh, got this set for five euros, these two, so uh, can't beat that. Um, they're all in a really good condition and it folds out beautifully and a huge set. And I can't wait to give this a go. Uh, maybe I'll start watching it when my girlfriend or something. Uh, after we're done uh, doing the uh, Disney stuff and the Marvel stuff, which I still haven't seen everything of. The other one is also a beautiful fold-out. Yep, yes. Huge box set, so... Really glad that I got them for a good cheap price because uh, the Blu-ray was in our store a couple of months ago, and um, yeah, I passed it up, and eventually um, I got these for cheaper than that one. So um, this is Aliens of the Deep. I really, really, really needed to find this and. Um, I saw a small documentary about this uh, movie, and I loved it. I loved the uh, the trailer, the um, the small documentary about that one. Really, really cool. Uh, then I got the first season. I believe this is also a um, American western, Hell on Wheels. Haven't heard anything of it, but since it was one euro, I couldn't pass it up. Still in very good condition. The only negative thing is is that it has four discs on stacked on each other. So, my opinion, that's a little bit of a shitty thing. However, real cool add to the collection. Then I found this really intriguing, like weird um, horror movie or superhero movie, Faust, I think. Something like that. Faust, Love of the Damned. Yeah, looks really intriguing. I hope the light will pick it up a 
bits, but really dark artwork. So glad that I got that. Uh, Lion King 3, Hakuna Matata. Didn't know there was a third one. So uh, I got it for the Disney collection. Uh, then I found Tinkerbell, The Lost Treasure. My girl adores Tinkerbell and I think she has a tattoo um, f uh, for Tinkerbell or something like that. So Then I found this one um, the, from the producers of Saw the Tortured. Looks intriguing. The uh, artwork looks really cool, and I have a thing going for gas masks so on the back. It has gas masks, so I will need it. So, and for only one euro, can't pass it up. But the one that I am most happy about, um, or more um, intrigued about, is a um, Russian movie. Uh, I believe from 1993. It's only an hour long, uh, but it's Belovi uh, by Viktor Korsakovsky. Haven't heard anything about this, but um, I like those really weird uh, releases, especially from the good old days. So really, really intriguing. And a while ago, uh, I posted this on my Instagram and I uh, saw this in one of his videos um, I'm talking about cinema sickness um, it came from the retro store and he found this cool set of uh, Total Recall from um, Schwarzenegger and I really wanted this so I sent him a message like yo you send it to uh, the Netherlands and he was like yeah of course not of course, uh, why not? And I sent him a message, and this you can take out of there. So, and it was quite expensive to get it shipped over here, but it, for such a good movie and such a cool um, uh, box set, it's really cool. Over here, you got the CD. And the funny thing is, it looks like a makeup um, box or something, but. If you put the DVD in there, it's all fun again. And really weird thingies that belong to this box set. So, um, yeah, and of course, the whole um, there, the whole 40 hours box set on VHS I got for a steal of a price. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm still getting used to watch over there not there because my screen is up there and my camera is up there so i still need to uh get used to that uh but further ado um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next uh, i guess i'll see you next possessed anthology sorry for that <laughs>